Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we are going to be diving back into our Elite Code 75 series. So uh, we're still in the sliding windows category. We're actually in the last problem of the category. This is going to be another medium ranked problem. Uh, it's called longest subarray of ones after deleting one element. All right, so uh, for the instructions, we're given a binary array nums. You should delete one element from it. Return the size of the longest non-empty subarray, only ones in the resulting array. Return zero if there is no such subarray. So uh, this was a little bit uh, kind of confusing in terms of the instructions. They weren't super clear to me, at least, um, personally, um, right off the bat when I was reading them prior to this video. Uh, so basically the idea is, is that you want to remove the zero from the array where um, it would make the subsequence of ones the greatest number possible, if that makes sense. So um, basically in this example one, to make this a little bit more clear and illustrate this for you guys, if we removed uh, this zero right here, the greatest sequence of ones would be three ones. And so there, th therefore we return three. So hopefully you guys understand this problem and it's clear to you guys. Um, and then all we have to do now is implement it. So um, for the first, the first thing we want to do is figure out a way to count zeros, right? Because we're going to have to somehow get rid of that zero or at least account for it um, in our problem. So um, in order to do that, we're going to declare an integer called zero count and initialize that to zero. All right. And then the second thing that we want to do is um, get some sort of integer to uh, to measure the size of our window because we are still using the sliding window approach. So let's not forget that. So we can call this, why don't we just call it longest window? And then we can set this to zero. All right. So um, we want to also get the, uh, the left side of the window so we know where we're starting. So we can call this uh, start start or left, it doesn't matter. Um, and then now what we want to do is set up our for loop. And we're just going to be iterating through the entire nums array. So like I've shown you guys many times, it's pretty simple with the for loop in Java. All right, so now we've done this in our previous problems for the sliding window technique. So if you haven't watched those yet, go ahead and, and watch the last few videos. Um, where we're using a ternary operator in Java. Um, and so we're going to use this for the zero count integer. So we're going to, if, if there's a zero, we want to add one to the zero count. So in order to do that, um, we can use the plus equals. Um, and then what we want to do is nums at index i is equal to zero as our Boolean condition. And then if it is equal to zero, then we set it, we add one, and if it's not, then we don't add anything. So basically, if it's zero, we add one. If it's not zero, then we don't add, we don't add one. All right, so then now what we want to do is since we're trying to find the longest subsequence of continuous ones, we want to be able to shrink the window if there is a zero, um, if there's more zeros than the one that we're just eliminating, right? So in order to do that, while zero count is greater than one, what we want to do is set up another ternary condition where we're actually um, subtracting from the zero count. So we'll do minus equals, and then it's basically the same thing as the last time, right? Except we do it at nums start. All right, zero. All right, and then what we do is we increment start. All right, so we're shrinking the window until zero count comes under the limit. All right, and then what we want to do is get either the we want to get the maximum size of the window. And so we compare that with what we have in the current iteration to what the maximum is. So what we do is get our longest window and then 
we use what we've previously used, right? The math.max. And then it's either going to be the longest window, which could have been from the previous iterations, or it's i minus start. All right, and then all we have to do now, after we finish that loop, is return the longest window. Oops. All right, let's go ahead and run that. All right, so as you can see, this passes the three test cases, so let's go ahead and submit it. All right, so I went ahead and submitted it. Uh, the first time that I tried submitting it, I ran into a runtime error. It had nothing to do with my actual code. It was just a, uh, a server-side issue with leak code. So um, I just waited a little bit, and then I was able to submit it. So uh, yeah, there we have it. This solution ends up passing all the test cases. And then um, let's talk about uh, space complexity and time complexity. So for the time complexity, it's going to be big O big of N. So um, the reason that it's big O of N is because uh, really if it, it's a simplified version of big O, big o of two times N because it can go through it can go through the array up to two times because we have this nested while loop in here, but two times N is just counted as N in terms of time complexity. So we have big O of N. Um, and then for the space complexity, it's just gonna be constant space, um, big O of one, because we're not using any variables that, that scale with the, with the input size. So there you have it. That's our last sliding window technique problem um, of this particular series uh, for the Elite Code 75 series. So I hope this uh, helped you to develop a better understanding of this particular technique so that you can excel in the interviews if you're asked a question where you are able to implement this approach. And if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more related content. And then um, if you would like, please go ahead and uh, leave any comments with suggestions or really just anything that you wanna say. I read all of the comments and I respond to them um, if it's applicable. So please go ahead and leave a comment. I'm more than happy to chat and I'll, I will see you in the next video.